MTD CNC have travelled back to Colville in Leicestershire today and we're at Matsura. We've come to meet up with Dominic who's the National Sales Manager and he's going to talk to us about the new MX850 5-axis machining centre. This machine is about to be launched at Mac 2014 so let's go and have a look. So I'm standing in front of the Matsura MX850 and I'm going to introduce Dominic who's the National Sales Manager for Matsura. Good morning Dominic. Good morning. Sir. I thought this would be a good opportunity for you to talk us through the MX850, tell us a little bit about the machine. Why is it its new machine to the range? Why has it been introduced? Well it's, it's a large machine of a model that we've now had for about two and a half, three years. The MX520 has been Matsura's best selling entry level five axis into the global market. So based on that um, a few of us that are on the steering committee at Matsura wanted a bigger model. So we're going to be launching this machine into the UK at the Mac exhibition, as, as you well know. So the MX850 offers the same dynamics, the same accessibility of the 520, but with a much larger envelope. So we're at 850 by 450 capacity, same spindle speed, same tool changer. Um, but obviously we can now look at a market that is looking at a larger workpiece. The MX520 has been extremely successful for us for getting into the smaller company that can, that can actually taste Matsura and afford Matsura. Yeah. So with this 850 then, I was looking at the brochure earlier, you've got 900 millimetres in the X-axis yeah. by 780 yeah, in the so Y-axis, it's, it's a large machine. It's a envelope. big, big machine. I mean, we're saying 850, but if you actually take the component more as a, as a rectangle, we can actually swing a lot more because the trunnion gap is very big. Yeah. So, like all Matsuras, the, the, the brochure will always say one thing, but your actual is always a bit more. Yeah, but because with the table here, you've got two options on the table. This is a, you can have a 700 mil or a 500 yeah, mil. Yeah, 500 is, is standard, yeah. and then we offer the option of a 700. But on all our MXs, if we have the smaller surface table, we can also have side tables on the machine, which give you either a very large four axis machine or three axis or an OP10, OP20, OP30, so you can top and tail a five axis component all the way through in one hit. Okay, okay. And that's quite a good feature on our machine. And, and the spindle itself, you get three options with a spindle speed on this machine? On this particular model, it's 12,000 standard, 15,000 or 20,000 RPM, all on BT40, big plus taper face contact. Right, okay. And you've also got 60 tools, which is standard, standard. which is unusual because most five axis machines in the Correct. market. Correct. Again, that's something that we steered in the infancy of the MX520. 40 tools were standard, but we felt that if we had 60 tools and made that a standard size to keep the cost down from an entry level point of view, it means that we can offer obviously a larger magazine to give us, a, again, a competitive edge against our other entry level five axis machine tool supplier. And with you being able to load 500 kilograms of part, one of the things you think of as a, an ex-machinist myself is how are you going to load that? But I noticed that you have yes, we, we can access the door. So we have a this door will open, and you can access on centre line of the of the five-axis table. So you could use a crane, you could crane, crane a component in, drop it onto Correct. the table. Yeah. yeah. And again, the other good thing about this machine is access to the machine. Um, that's over the the last two and a half years we've been selling the MX. That has been quite a key fundamental feedback that we've had back from the client saying the access is fantastic, the controller moves around, you've got a good overhead access. So all round it's a very, very ergonomically designed machine tool. And the type of customer that would invest in a machine like this, are you looking at OEMs, uh, motorsport industry or subcontract engineers? Does it, does it fit the G bill for... A generally we've been selling to all our customer base but what it's enabled us to do since the demise of our vertical range of, of, of the cost being obviously a little bit more expensive than the competitors, it's allowed us now to revisit all the small companies again. So the MX520 especially is a lot of new business, a lot of new blood coming into our customer base, which is then growing into our multi-pallet five-axis range. So again, circa a certain number, uh, we are very competitive against our competitors, which gets people in with the Matsura brand. I think that, to me, it's, it's a big thing that when I used to sell machine tools, I'd look at Matsura as a, as a production machine, lots of pallets, um, and, you know, a high precision machine in centre, which you've obviously got that here, but it's not necessarily a production machine at the same time. It can, you can, it can be either. I mean, we're selling it into environments that are using it as a jobbing machine, small batch production, fast turnaround, but what we are also doing is we are automating these machines by putting an ancillary by bought in product, be it a tower system, a table system, a robot, 
and we can offer hydraulics through the table, auto door systems, where we can then automate it. So even though it is aimed at the entry level, what we're experiencing with some of our other clients is that instead of buying a 40 pallet MAM 72, they're buying two or three of these and then automating them. So it, it gives us, because we can do that as an automated integrator, we can do that very easily. And this machine built and assembled in Japan? Totally, yeah, 100%. And the control? Matsura GTEC 31. This is a new control. We've gone to the i, I panel. It's a 31 i Fanet control. The GTEC is that we, we, we brand it so that we put a lot of our own software in there. But behind the cabinet, it's a Fanet control um, with all the high speed capability and data server functionality. So if you're a Fanet user, it would be no, no problem, problem to, to come straight across no the problem server. Yeah. Okay, well, I think we've learned a lot here today, Dom. It's Thank been you. A, it's been a very uh, interesting insight into what is available now from Matsura in the MX850. So thanks for your time. No, thank you.